has subsided and the raised voices quiet. But a silent battle continues to rage between the students of the University of the West Indies and its administration over a proposed fee hike come September. By September 1993, students will bear 15% of their economic cost, now being subsidized by governments. Oh, I think there's a distinct possibility of some student action. Boycott is such a strong word. Here's what the quarrel means in dollars and cents. An art student now pays $2,500 a year. In 1993, he or she will pay $3,500. UE subsidizes $16,500. Science students now pay $4,000. will have to pay $7,600. And UE subsidizes $42,400. The exception are medical students who formerly paid the full economic cost of $55,000, but will now be subsidized and pay $8,000. We have had instances of students collapsing on campus, especially around examination time, through hunger alone. We have students on campus that uh, wear their high school shirts, just rip off the monograms. In other words, a lot of students can hardly afford to be here now. This in a backdrop of a $200 million government debt to UWE. Planning Minister Lenny Saith has gone on record as saying government will honor the debt. Cabinet has agreed that the shortfall will be paid over the next seven years. Students are not responsible for the buildings or the assets of the university. We feel the responsibility for that kind of atmosphere should come from the administration of the university, the governments of the region, because the university substantiates the Caribbean. But despite government promises, pro-vice-chancellor of the university says each month UWE barely scrapes by with a check of $6 million and a shortfall of $4 million. The region, the societies, cannot afford to continue a policy of what has been for a long time, uh, for the last 20 years, 15 years, uh, free university education. That, that means that the present generation would be coming free at the expense of future generations who will find themselves with an institution not worthy of the name. We must expand in order to meet the legitimate demand for university places by the many thousands who cannot get admitted because we do not have either the requisite level, numbers of staff, we don't have enough classrooms, we don't have enough equipment. The assumption that the university doesn't have money, that the government doesn't have money, but that the students have money is a very, very dangerous one. The two sides are talking, but remain poles apart. The needs are recognized. It's just we don't have the resources to do it. And our hands have been tied by the fee question. The Guild has made it very clear to any and all parties involved that we will not accede to any increase whatsoever in fees unless sufficient mechanisms are put in place to support the student population that is going to need it. The solution, suggests Bourne, is a student loan. But no one seems to know so far how it will run or who will run it. Students are not disinclined to borrow, but having graduated are less inclined to repay. And chairman of the Republic Bank, Frank Barsotti, says without a guarantee, it is going to be difficult for banks to give loans. The government will either have to reallocate funds to UWE or shut down facilities there. And there are those who say the system is elitist. Only 3% of secondary school students make it to university. This academic says let them pay 40% of their cost from A-levels on and create alternative local institutions. If the state provides university education at no cost, it means it is a cost to the rest of the society. It means everybody pays so that a few can benefit. The Guild's position is that the university must first tighten its belt and clean house before raising students' fees. There is inefficiency in the, in, on, in the university at St. Augustine, and, and we believe in all three campuses. The university says to students, sacrifice. We are in difficult times, not only as an institution, but as a country and as a region, and that all parties are required to make some sacrifice. Vaughan admits that universities have shut down for less, 
but maintains that West Indian students are too responsible for irresponsible actions. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report. Pay as you learn.